All right, so the first official member of Team Staying In, please welcome Bob Power. I may like staying in, but I know how to greet a gentleman. <laughs> John, that was wonderful. Thank you. That was great. That was like uh, the courtroom scene in the movie where the witness changes his story. <laughs> Deposition right here that you signed. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's stay in tonight. <laughs> How beautiful are those four words? <laughs> Let's stay in tonight. We live in a city with every variety of restaurant and bar and fetish lounge and pop up kale cafe. <laughs> Weird in-home supper club that may or may not be a key party, but I have an idea, honey. Let's stay in tonight. We can stare into each other's eyes. If that's not enough, we can talk. If we run out of things to talk about, we can talk to the cat. And if the cat doesn't seem interested, it's okay because it's just you and me and Netflix. Hulu Plus, and Amazon Instant, and iTunes, and Pornhub, and the 17 other wildly successful streaming services that give the world exactly what it wants. They make it possible to never have to leave the house again. Sure, we could go to that dinner party uh, and talk to our friends about which shows we're all watching. <laughs> on our Rokus and Apple TVs and Xboxes, but I have an idea. Let's skip the dinner party and order food via Seamless. And don't forget to write in the special instructions field, please leave the food by the door. Don't engage us in any way. Because someone figured out that we've all been alive for a long while. We've met enough people. We don't need to meet any more people. Someone figured out that we're staying in tonight. We have everyone we need right here. Come on, man, I'm at a bar. It's the place to be. I'm staying in tonight. Come on, don't be lame, it'll be fun. I'm staying in tonight. I'm not as frightened of my solitude as you. <laughs> Come out with me, we can meet somebody. We can meet people just by walking down the street. People like the naked cowboy. <laughs> the kid with the green piece binder. <laughs> we could even get run over with a bicycle by Michael Musto. You never know. Could ride the train and hear the worst two words ever spoken. It's... <laughs> we could take a walk through the park and find ourselves on camera falling victim to the latest hilarious improv everywhere viral prank. You should have seen our faces. We could go to a movie and sit on a chair made out of decades of strangers' farts and bedbugs. <laughs> bedbugs from across the five boroughs. We could go to a party and throw our coats on the coat pile infested with the bedbugs our mutual friends are pretending they don't have. We could hop into a cab and look in the front seat and find out it's being driven by a bedbug. <laughs> Go to a fancy hotel penthouse lounge. When we're riding the elevator, what do we see? That's right, Solange Knowles. Let's go to a club. Maybe we'll bump into someone famous like Michael Alec, a man who just spent 17 years in prison for murdering and dismembering his friend, a man whose very occupation was going out. Because that's what going out gets you. A box of chopped up limbs in the Hudson River 
and 17 years in the hot new club called Jail. This is a rallying cry, a call to armchairs, a summoning to the sagittal couch of the contented, the comfortable, the sweatpants wearing, reheated, takeout, eating, Time Warner cable on demand, binging, masses. We are formally and confidently responding, will not attend to the Facebook invite for your improv class's final show. <laughs> We will not attend the bill your band is sharing with eight other bands plus intervening burlesque performances. <laughs> and if you invite us to your fake debate show where people pretend to seriously defend silly topics, put us down for a maybe. That sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> Let's stay in tonight. Let's have the best night of our lives in the homes and lifestyles we've chosen. Hang out together on Skype, FaceTime. We're gonna hang out. I can't wait to see your pretty face. The only place to be. Thank you. <laughs>